What up everybody, welcome to Untouchable City Prepper And I thought I would do an interior review On my 2025 Ram truck Yeah um, That's my first car review I should have did a review on my 2020 What did I have, a 2021 or 2022? Um this a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all my honest impressions of the Ram and why I came back and got a Ram and not a F-150. This is strictly my point of view of the truck, okay? So, let's get the numbers out the way because I'm a big numbers guy. Uh, this truck, I think this truck is like right around 60,000. Okay, 60,000. I think this truck is around 60,000, give or take. Don't hold me to the number, I can't remember, but I think this truck is around 60,000 dollars. Okay, this is a full size truck. Okay, I'm about six feet four, six feet five, and I fit very comfortably in this truck, okay? I read, I've, I got friends who got Durango's and uh, other Chargers and Challengers. I can never fit in those cars comfortably, okay? I can never fit in them cars comfortably. All right. This is the most comfortable truck I've ever owned. Okay. Now, I haven't owned that many trucks. I only had about four or five, but this is the most comfortable truck. This is the most luxurious truck I have been able to afford. I never had the Lariat and the, the Tuscan trim, I saw them, you know, this is my primarily, this is really my work truck too, because my other work truck, my F-150, I blew the engine in it, it was an F-150, uh, 5.4, and I loved that truck, but the engine blew on it, I started to replace the engine, I was, my heart wanted me to replace the engine, but I had already did so much work on my F-150, uh, I end up junking it for like, I think $700, man. So they got a, I junked a, a great truck. I wanted to, uh, like I said, I wanted to fix the engine to put a new engine in my F-150. It was almost like 3,500. So I was like, man, I'm gonna just take that money and put it down on a new truck, a nice truck that I want. Uh, I had already had my, my other Ram at the time, so, you know, I was like, you know, I, I was just over trying to fix it, basically, you know, and in my opinion, right now, to me, it feels like it costs more to keep a used truck up than a new truck, but that's me digressing, that's my personal opinion on it, but let me tell you, man, um, I'm gonna try to be quick with this and not try to oversaturate what's going on. <laughs> but I got two twin boys, which they really don't need a car seat, but they mom make me uh, continue to get a car seat in the car for her wishes or whatever so the kids can be safe, which is cool. But. Okay, so this is the Black the Night Edition. Okay, let me tell you what I don't got. I wanted the sunroof. Okay, I, I never had a car with the sunroof. I wanted the sunroof, but I didn't get the sunroof. Okay, um, I wanted the big Tesla screen. I got it. Okay, I love it. I love it. I think F-150 got one too. And the digital dash, I think that's like super cool. Super, super cool. Um, it got drive modes. Okay, so you got a lot of different drive modes. I don't know if you guys can see it from here. 
You know, you got sport, you got tow, you got snow, you got auto, you know, you got off-road, you know, and it give you the little picture. I think that's pretty dope. You got the snow, like I said, you know, then you got the tow. You know, and I think that's pretty dope, man. You know, you do all that sport mode. For some reason, sport mode goes into four-wheel drive, auto. That's kind of weird to me, but I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, the four. When I put it in the sport mode, it go into four-wheel auto. So I don't know, whatever. But I will say I did not go with the Hurricane engine. I got the the V6 uh, Pine Star, Pin, Pin Star, or whatever it is. And it's not terrible, but when you go from a Hemi to this, it's a little downer. But let me tell you, man, for a truck, this has the best gas mileage of a truck that I ever had, too. The gas mileage in this truck is two times better than the Hemi. I don't know what the hurricane is doing or whatever, but the gas mileage on this truck is great. I give it an A. Okay, I was putting in my Hemi, like, I, I let me give you an idea. In my Hemi, I stay about 15, 20 minutes away from my job. Okay, I'm jumping on the freeway. I'm there in maybe 15 minutes. Okay, I was putting in my Hemi, I was putting in my Hemi, Shoot, I think I was putting in my Hemi. I was probably putting a hundred dollars every four days. With this, I'm putting about I would say I'm putting a hundred dollars in this every six to seven days, give or take. But I never really let it get past half. But I know I'm getting better gas mileage. <laughs> You know, I'm, I know I'm getting way better gas mileage because when I would take like two trips to work, that hand would almost be at half. Okay, I don't know if y'all can really see it from here, but yeah, I can't really focus. There you go. When I take like two trips to work, that gas can be about half, that gas gauge. So yeah, um, you know, this is the biggest part that I wanted right here to test the screen. And then I'm gonna show you the outside at the end of the video. I did put these seat covers on there. I bought these at AutoZone for like $50. Um, I like them. I never really cared about the leather because I like to put seat covers on my stuff. So, because like my kids and my wife are always spilling stuff in my truck. So, I bought these from uh, AutoZone for like $50, man. They great. You can see the interior cloth in the back seat, you know. Not that bad, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's the cloth it came with, but I got the seat covers over it and uh, I love it man. I give it a I give it a good 10. I Give it a 10. You know what I'm saying? I give this shit a 10 uh, Definitely the best truck I've have ever had and I had none but f-150s In the past I love it. It's good on gas. Like I said, I don't know what the hurricane is doing but the Pinstar is good. But if you're going from the Hemi to the Pinstar, you're going to have a big uh, falling off on it. Okay, so I want everybody to know that. And like I said, I got the black, the Blackout Edition. And I'm going to show y'all in a minute the Blackout Edition. And I love it, man. And I'm going to get out the car real quick and show y'all. Hold on one second. 